Okay, so right now what we are discussing are the properties of inequalities and all the properties that uh, inequalities basically uh, give out. Uh, so first of all, there are seven properties and uh, in today's lecture, we are only going to be discussing three of them. And uh, so let's start actually to help us explain these properties or characteristics. We are going to be taking the help of variables A and B. Okay, so there will be two variables we will be taking help of, variables A, and the second one is the variable B. Okay, so the three properties I'm, that I'm going to be discussing, um, these are going to be the general terms, uh, with whenever I'm going to be discussing A and B. And the thing is that uh, the B, the variable B is going to be bigger than the variable A. And for general purposes, this is what I'm going to be using. And for specific purposes to give the um, to give the definition some solid ground, we will be using these numbers. And as you can see, six is bigger than four. Okay, so let's begin. First, our first property. Let's get over to it. Uh, the first property says that a added with c is less than b added to c. Now, what exactly is c c is a constant number so we are adding a constant number to both sides which contains a and b and uh, and before we have we had added b uh, c we we said that b is greater than a okay so right now we have just added c to both sides equally and what we have uh, found, what we will always find is that a plus c, this whole number is going to be less than this number. This is exactly how we started off. So to give, uh, actually to give it a more solid base, let's actually see if this is true. Uh, we're going to be using the, the specific terms right now. Okay, so we have six. And we're going to be adding a number C. C can be any number. Let's say we have 10. If we add 10 to both sides, we, we see 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. So, as we have found, uh, this is actually true. So, this is one of the first properties uh, of inequality that we're going to be discussing. The second property, uh, let's, let's get on with the second property. If, say, we have a number A, exactly um, as we had previously and we have a number b okay uh, if you do kind of um, simply something uh, a little different than before you subtract a number from both sides the same number c could be any number 10 5 15 1000 what we find is that the inequality remains the same okay b is still greater than a now to get um, some sort of foundation over it, let's see, uh, we will do some example. Let's see, we have A, which is going to be 4, we have B, which is, which is 6. Now think of a number, think of any number. Let's say we go with 7, okay? Now wait, we can't go with 7 right now. We're going to go with 2. When we go with 2, uh, we see that 4 minus 2 is equal to 6 subtracted by 2, 4. We see that actually this is true. So let's get on with the third property that we have. And this is the final property we are going to be discussing. Uh, so let's get started. We say we have a number A and we say we have a number B. Okay. When you multiply when you multiply the same number to both sides, the inequality remains the same. So, yeah, so the inequality remains the same. A into C is less than B multiplied by C. So let's actually get um, some definite proof of it. Uh, let's say we have four and we have six. We multiply that over the, with any number, C could be any number. Let's say five. We multiply that with five. 
So 5 times 4, that is equal to 20. And 5 times 6, well, what is that equal to? That is equal to 30. Now, as you can see, 30 is bigger than 20. So these are like some of the properties of the inequalities. Right now, I have discussed three. There are a total of seven. The next four will be discussed in the next video.